Hello YouTube, Mrs. Old Money 74. Uh, if you hadn't guessed it yet, I am a firearms collector. I want to talk about 22s. What you see right there is the Winchester lever action. That's a 22. What you see right here is another Winchester, but it's the automatic. It's the sister to the one above. That's a 22. Down here, that's the Ruger 1022, damn fine 22. And right there is the Ruger Mark III, also a 22. That's a good gun. This one is a piece of shit. What you see here is, make sure we get this name right, if you can see that, it's a uh, Savage Model 64. Now, I bought this for my boy when it was first out on the market. I thought it had to be good, you know, come from Savage. How many of you guys can complain about any Savage you have? My guess is not very many. Savage is a fine gun. But they really screwed the pooch on this one. Now being a 22 automatic, it's a blowback action, as you can, just a regular blowback. The only way to clean that bolt and that action is to take the barrel off. When you take the barrel off, if you've got a scope on it, it never goes back on the same place twice, so you have to re-zero every time. It is a pain. You have to take this thing completely apart to get that bolt out. Who ever heard of taking a bolt off, or the barrel out of a gun to take the bolt out? Pretty crazy to me. And it was new enough on the market when I bought it that I just kind of jumped on it. I didn't read reviews or anything like that. Matter of fact, there wasn't any reviews on it when I bought this one. Uh, I might have bought one of the first ones. Who knows? But that is definitely a piece of junk. It shoots good when it's clean, jams when it's dirty, and you got to take the barrel off when it's dirty to make it clean. Definitely would not do that again. I should have stuck with the old standard, the Ruger 1022. That should be the benchmark of all 22 automatics. But I didn't. Old Money 74, signing out.